Okay, in this video we're going to look at selecting things as a percentage based on uh, a ranking of preflop hands. So just a little bit of um, uh, explanation. Basically, you you can rank uh, Texas Hold'em hands uh, in various different ways. You know, lots of people, most people would agree that aces are the best hand, and then kings, and then queens. But then, you know, depending on the type of uh, hold'em game you're playing or the type of situation, maybe you then rank ace king suited next, and then tens, and then ace queen suited, and ace king off. And there are lots of people uh, have uh, attempted to rank these in different ways depending on the game type. So in the Combinator, um, there are different rankings. By clicking this button, you can see there are three rankings set up on my version of the Combinator here. And these are just different ways that people have ranked preflop hands. So um, Pro Poker Tools, uh, that's a piece of software. That's how they've ranked hands. Um, I can't remember what methodology they've used for that one. Uh, Sklansky Chubikov is a ranking uh, made by David Sklansky and Chubikov, where um, I hope I'm pronouncing that the, those names right. Um, and that's based, I think, on all in heads up, all in preflop equity and hood stocks. This is based on uh, Stocks Poker wrote a, uh, a limit hold'em book where he basically broke things down into, you know, this would be my defence, this would be my three betting range, this would be my big line defence, da 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 da. And then I went and just interpolated that into a uh, precise ranking. So when you selected one of these, you can then use this slider, and you can see we're going to be sl we're, we're selecting a percentage based on the top hands all the way down to the bottom hands. I'm just clicking and moving this slider here. Uh, you can use this, uh, I think this is called a, a rocker, these up and down arrows here to just select them one by one. And this here is the percentage. This is percentage of combinations. So we could just type in here, say 50%. Then if you wanted to say, you know, switch to Pro Poker Tools, you know, they're 50%. You can see as I just, things just kind of change a little bit um, because their version of top 50% is going to be slightly different. So there you go. This is based. Uh, this is uh, rankings. We could actually we can just type into this box, and using this box, we can actually uh, um, remove a top percentage. So if we say 30%, that would slot, select the top 30%. But if we then put dash, this is just basically shorthand for 30 to 100. So it's removing the top 30%. Now there are actually two ways you can do this. One is by typing into this box. The other one is if you started with 30%, you can click this invert button up here, and this will just you know invert the selection, obviously. Um, but this box is a bit more powerful because we can do something like say 30 to 75, and that would obviously select the top. Uh, it would remove the top 30%, and it would remove the bottom 25%. This would be useful for situations where si where somebody say cold calls pre-flop. We want to remove the top percent because they didn't three bet, um, remove the bottom percent because they didn't fold. Um, yeah, that pretty much uh, sums up the, the rankings. Now, you can uh, configure your own rankings. There's no uh, interface GUI for this, uh, but if you just click on uh, Configure, um, basically these rankings are just uh, text files, and you could edit these text files uh, yourself. Uh, you can just open, if we just open one up in Notepad, you can see it's literally just uh, each hand is, is ranked. Um, so you could use other tools to create your own text files. You can share these text files with other people, email them to each other. If you just stick them in your rankings and restart the combinator, it'll uh, it'll load them up. Um, and yeah, there you go. So that's that's pretty much rankings. And in the next videos, we'll look at some of these options on the right. Okay, thanks.